In this video, we will get to know some common best practices to follow around pull request and how to create a pull request in Copado. Creating a pull request might seem like an easy task at first, but it could be challenging in many aspects. That's why we have put together a list of best practices that would help developers to create and manage pull requests better. Let's take a look at some best practices around pull requests. Create pull request before the first deployment. This helps the team review the code at the testing stage and fix issues before the final merge. Keep your pull request's description short and concise. A good pull request description should focus on the reason for the code change or bug fix. So keep it that way. When deciding on the approvers, it is crucial to consider factors such as expertise and availability. Also, ensure that you are assigning your pull requests to at least two or more people for review. This makes your pull request review effective and efficient. Making the pull requests reviews mandatory for the subsets of metadata mitigates the risk of overlooking the potential changes and reducing any vulnerabilities in the code before it gets deployed to the main branch. Now we know about the pull request best practices, let's see how to create pull requests in Copado. As a part of this video, we are going to commit a custom field, an Apex class, and a custom profile. We will then compare the feature branch with the destination branch. We have already added the metadata in the Dev1 environment. Let's navigate to the user story and commit the metadata components. Here, filter the metadata type as Apex class, custom field and profile. Now select, is Premier account from case objects, case operations Apex class, and admin profile. Click Commit Changes. Now the changes are committed to a new user story. Before we promote our changes to the next environment, Let's open a pull request and run a quick comparison between the feature branch and the destination branch. It is important to note that clicking the open pull request button redirects you to the project link to your Git provider, and subsequent actions fall under Git's responsibility. As you can see, the pull request shows the metadata components that we committed. Let's go ahead and add the pull request description. Now assign this request to the reviewer. Click Create Pull Request. When you assign the pull request for review, the assignee will receive an email notification for the same. The assignee can now log into Git, review the changes, Add their comment and take action accordingly. If a pull request is approved, merging is typically expected. However, when using Copado, refrain from manual merging. Copado handles merges automatically after successful deployment. Now let's head back to the user story to review the pull request from the user story record. To see the pull request record in the user story, you need to set up the webhook for your Git repository. You can follow webhook setup examples Copado documentation to know how to set up webhook for your Git repository. 
You can also review your pull request from user story instance by clicking, go to review link. Awesome! Now you know how to create and manage pull request from Copado. Try creating pull requests in your Copado instance. Good luck!